I'm Steve Maxwell and welcome to the Busy Bee Woodworking Jointer course. I'm going to be explaining all about choosing, adjusting, safely and effectively using a jointer. Now that applies whether you have a small home shop, you're a hobbyist and you're interested in a benchtop unit like this, or you have bigger aspirations and a bigger workspace and you might be using a stationary model like the one behind me. Before I go into more detail about the course, I want to tell, tell you a little bit about myself. I first used a jointer in 1979 in grade 8 shop class. Yes, in grade 8 they taught us how to use a jointer. And I've been using one more or less ever since then, both professionally and in my own home shop. Now, when it comes to jointers, um, novice woodworkers often have a question, and it's a legitimate question too. Why would I want to get a jointer when I can do the same thing with a thickness planer? Well, actually you can't, and that's because a jointer is all about imparting precision onto solid wood. You almost never use a jointer on anything other than solid wood, so no plywood, no sheet goods. And solid wood often has twists and cups and bows in it, and that's going to be a problem if you want to up your game and do some precise fine woodworking. That's where a jointer can come in. It's all about imparting precision, getting rid of the twists and cups and bows so that wood is actually shaped the way it should be. Joinery is going to work better, parts are going to come together with less effort, uh, more gap-free results. Now a thickness planer is all, just about one thing, and that is smoothening the faces of boards. And that's it. And believe it or not, if you put a twisted, cupped, or bowed board into a thickness planer, that wood is going to get smoother and thinner, but you're not going to get rid of those irregularities. In order to do that, you need to use a jointer. And in fact, a jointer is almost always used in conjunction with a planer. In fact, there are, there are three machines involved in the process of making a truly flat, square, and straight board. We begin with a jointer, we move to the thickness planer, and then we finish up with a table saw. So lots more detail on this, but enjoy and let me show you everything that I know about woodworking jointers.